Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video on how to cure your horm hormonal acne. Um, this is basically my story and how I've um, come to battle my acne. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I've been using. First off, I started with this skincare line. It's the uh, Neutrogena Rapid Clear, and this is the Acne Prone Skin Polishing Cleanser. It looks like that, and it comes with um, the day, yeah, day lotion with SPF 15. Sorry, it's like really grungy and nasty, but uh, I use that every day. And then my overnight acne control comes with the whole three-step system, like that, um, and it's about uh, thirty-two dollars Canadian at uh, Shopper Drug Mart, um, and then I bought CeraVe cleanser. It's a hydrating cleanser with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. Looks like that. And I'll explain to you guys after how I use it. But I'm just showing you all the products. And then I just use face wipes. These are just Bonnie Bell face up. Any old face wipes will do to remove the makeup. And oh, I forgot my main product so one second so I forgot the main character in this whole uh, acne story is this guy you can see so it's like a big massive toothbrush I guess you could say um spins ready oh fail there we go spins has two speeds slow fast uh, so yeah, I'll start with this guy. So, um, I kind of just did research on YouTube and I guess the internet, um, how to combat hormonal acne because I went off birth control. I was on Yasmin and I was on it for, I was on birth control for probably like eight years and then Yasmin I was on probably five years or more. And as soon as I went off of it, my skin was fine and then within a month after, I'd say no, probably just after a month from going off birth control my skin went crazy and it wasn't everywhere it was just um, just my chin so that's where you get hormonal acne they say and I started getting like cystic acne so stuff that was like um, underneath the skin it wasn't just like little odd pimples it was like huge I don't know like cysts I guess um, I'll insert a picture now So yeah, so it was starting to get worse and like I was just like, oh, well maybe it's just I'm eating bad or like I wasn't putting two and two together. And then um, I I tried like everything. Like I went to a spa and bought this, um, it's called Eminence, I think it's, yeah, Eminence. And it's like a natural um, line that isn't supposed to make you react. It's, it's for acne skin. Um, I don't have it here because it didn't work for me, so I kind of threw it out. It was expensive too, so I spent money on that. Then I tried... Then I tried... What other stuff? Vichy, like a whole bunch of stuff, and it wasn't working. Um, yeah, so, and it was only just on my chin. So I guess after about like three or four months, yeah, I'd say three months, I was like, hey, it's got to be my, my um, hormones, obviously, because it's just my chin. And it's got to be a birth control because that's the only thing I've changed in my life. Um, I'm always stressed just in general. I just have bad anxiety. So that didn't really change. So I knew that it wasn't that. So I was like, you know what? It has to be my birth control. And I did a lot of research online and a lot of girls had complained going off of Yasmin specifically because it did control um, acne in the first place going on it. Uh, it kind of reverses itself going off of it your skin is like oh my god like I need that drug back like it's just kind of like withdrawal your skin's going through withdrawal and <clears throat> so what was I saying sorry I'm blabbing um yeah so I did a lot of research I actually researched a 
vitamin, like almost like a supplement to take. It was called Vitex. Um, I didn't take it because I was kind of scared. I didn't know, I don't know, taking stuff orally kind of freaks me out. So I bought it just to sit on the back burner until I figured out something to kind of control it topically. So I haven't used that. I never used it. It was kind of a waste of money, but it was only like $20. Anyways, um, that could work for someone else. It's called Vitex. I've heard good things about it, but I did not actually take it. Um, so anyways, so I kind of just, I don't know, did some research. Some people said that this would work. I didn't really believe it, but I was like, yeah, you know what? It was only th this was only $30. It's um, Ole... I don't know what it's called, Ole Spin Brush, I don't really know. I don't have the packaging, sorry. It says Ole Professional on the back there, focus. What I started using, I'll tell you guys what I started using about two months ago, and I did this like religiously. I've never been one to always wash my face before I go to bed. Like I'd always like be like, oh whatever, like I'm fine the next day, and I wouldn't really break out. I'd have like one little tiny zit and it'd go away. But when I started getting hormonal acne, it was like, four or five I'd wake up in the morning if I didn't wash my skin. So I stopped being lazy and so I would start at nighttime cleaning my face off with wipes. Any old wipes will work. So I got my eye makeup, makeup off, um, <clears throat> foundation, blush, everything off. And then I would go in with the brush. So I'd use this, the Neutrogena Rapid Clear. I'd put some on the brush kind of like work it in with my fingers so it distributes evenly all over the brush and then nighttime I'd use sorry I have something in my throat nighttime I would use the the high speed and then daytime I'd use a slow speed so I'd kind of really go over my chin like this don't do it for too long because then you're gonna really irritate your spots so just do it a little bit and then I went all over my face with it so I did that at night and then um, Yes, and then I used this Overnight Acne Control Lotion by Neutrogena, and I just put that just on pretty much all over my chin, but really on the spots that were erupting, and I didn't put it all over my face because, again, I didn't have it all over my face, but if you do, then definitely put it where you think you're going to break out or where you do have the breakouts. It's really, really drying, but I would rather be dry than have cystic acne all over my face, so this definitely worked, and then... And then I would put this all over my face at night as well, even though it's a day lotion with SPF, doesn't matter. Put that all over my face just to hydrate my face because you do want to keep hydrated otherwise um, the dry skin is going to clog your pores and in turn you're going to break out. So you do want to hydrate your face. So um, because the cleanser, this cleanser has salicylic acid in it, um, it's very drying. So during the day I'd use, that's when this one would come in handy, the CeraVe. Uh, I used it because I did some research on it, said it helped with um, cystic acne. So I would put that on this guy and again put it in the middle and like push it in with my fingers so it distributes evenly and then do the same thing but use the slow speed. So nighttime I'd use a fast speed and daytime I'd use a slow speed. I don't know why, just that's just how I do it. This time I wouldn't use the acne control lotion as much. I use it very, very sparingly, like just on the, where I had the breakouts, um, just because, again, it's drying and I'd be wearing makeup over top, so I just didn't want it to look all, like, cakey and flaky. Um, so very, very sparingly during the day. Uh, yeah, but this definitely helped, for sure. And then I would put that all over my face, the day lotion that I was talking about, with, and it has SPF 15, which is good, because you want an SP, SPF when you have acne scarring going on. So I did that, and I actually did it every single day, every night. I would do the exact same routine. I would say it took about, um, say like three weeks for it to pretty much completely subside. But you're going to go through a purging stage, so you're going to go through probably a week or two of getting um, little zits popping up. They shouldn't be really big zits, they're just little... Um, little almost black heads or little white heads that pop up just because your skin's trying to purge itself like purging all the impure impurities in your skin the oils coming out and whatever um so yeah that's what i did and i did find that um yeah my acne subsided and i know my hormones haven't gone back to normal because my periods aren't 
um, normal right now so I don't think it's that and I've been on birth control for so long so I think it's going to take a lot longer than four months for me to go back to normal. I mean I could be wrong but um, yeah so this baby really really helped. If you're going to get anything like if you're really like trying to save your money you don't want to spend a lot but you want to cure your acne I would definitely recommend this because um, dermatologists have recommended a, some sort of spin brush like the Mia I think it's called um, I can't remember the name of it but that is like hundred and eighty dollars or something and does pretty much the same thing um, all it is really doing is really unclogging your pores and it's just cleaning all the oils and everything that's deep down in your skin it's just I don't know just getting rid of all the bacteria that much more than just cleansing with a cleanser with your fingers so <clears throat> I think that's what really really helped and I've been doing it every single day every night and as you see I don't have any breakouts at all my skin's just oily but my skin's always oily I'm still dealing with scarring obviously because it wasn't that long ago it was like not even two months ago when it was pretty bad so that's all I'm dealing with right now I'd rather deal with scarring than acne um, but yeah I hope this video helped at least one person and <clears throat> it really really helped me because I was getting really really self-conscious and I know it's not my acne wasn't like horrible because it wasn't all over my face but I felt horrible I didn't feel comfortable going anywhere without makeup just it hurt too it would hurt like when I'd smile it would hurt so it, I'd always be reminded that I have it even if I wasn't looking in a mirror but yeah I hope that this helped someone out there and if you guys have any questions um, I'm gonna leave all the products and everything down below in the bottom bar so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later bye